Hello everybody, this is Dick speaking. Welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. Today is episode number six. And as you guys can probably already tell here a little bit, we're doing a little bit of a different style with this recording than we did with the last one. Mainly because I feel like we're not accomplishing too much in these episodes the way we've been doing them and... I really would like to make a little bit more of progress in these videos, so I figured this is a good way of doing it, and yeah, I think this just makes sense. So anyways, in this episode, we're going to be building a little area for a pirate ship to go up here and inside of a castle sort of area, and I think it turned out pretty well, so right now we're working on the sort of building castle thing that's going to go around it, and just kind of getting some of the basic stuff going on right here, and yes, there was definitely a pause right in there, but, you know, through the magic of video editing, it's not very apparent that there was actually a pause there at all, because I came back right in the same spot where I left, and you all know this now because I just told you, so that, so who cares now that there was a pause in there, but it, you know, that works and yeah it's very boring to you know sit here and watch nothing happen for a while so anyways i think these towers were kind of a cool design you know get some detail onto the area and make everything work out well for us and yeah i have one these like pillars the middle and put these sort of tower things on them and then put some flags at the top I think they work pretty well, and it's definitely a kind of cool style that I like, how it ended up working for us, and, and we get these areas, and yeah, these are kind of like walls kind of surrounding the area where we're going to be putting the pirate ship as well, and for some reason I had trouble placing some of these walls sometimes. I don't know why exactly, but yeah, the walls sometimes like to troll, and yeah, then we have like these sort of arch things that go through the middle, and I just delete half of everything I put in just to get them in, and yeah, I think that is what goes on here. So then we've got these guys, which kind of fit in the middle, give us a little bit of detail here, and a little bit different shape, and also, you know, kind of combine them to the walls behind, which are pretty f plain right now, and you'll see what I do with that in just a little bit, but it works out pretty well for us, and definitely looks kind of cool. I like how this wall sort of turned out, and here I am trying to reposition it to make it perfect for in the middle, and yes, now we put some roofs on it, and I just go with some sort of simple roofs on here just so I can, you know, not worry too much about it. It does intersect those side towers a little bit, but not too much I can do about it. And then, yeah, I, and I like this detail here a little bit too, kind of. We have the doors here on the sides, which kind of give us our little bit of detail on the wall here, and I think it turned out pretty well. And now... Yes, I do move them over a little bit, so that way we can kind of, you know, make it sort of even, and, and then I copy these to each of the wall segments, which actually turns out to look good for the entire thing, and I think that little bit of detail is pretty good for this area. So, yeah, put this little bit of detail on all of them, and then we get our roof kind of in as well, which... This also just happens to be at the right height, so that way you can see the lip of the roof right above the doors, and you actually don't see the wall behind this stuff at all, which is interesting, but it works out pretty well. And then, yeah, I kind of go in, we put some plants back in here, and I think that turned out well as, that turned out pretty nice as well, getting some sort of greenery in this area, and yeah. You know, kind of just consolidate the area a little bit. Now, this was another thing I thought was kind of interesting, was to, like, yeah, do a little path around the outside of the castle here. I don't know what it would really be used for or anything, but 
it made sense and I th fits in pretty well, so I like it. And then I went and did a little bit of decoration here around this path, kind of, you know, it kind of just feels like it fits in very well here and, you know, it kind of just gives us a little bit of a break. We have the bottom there too, where we kind of have the same sort of path, so it ties it in a little bit to the area down below, which works out pretty well for us, and yeah, as you guys can tell, I do a lot of positioning with rocks and that kind of stuff, you know, kind of make this area come alive, and yeah, I mean, it looks really good from the front. I definitely think so, and I'm definitely happy with how this turned out. Now here, I'm trying to get a path in... Try to go up that hill, and I keep trying, and it keeps not wanting to do anything, and so on and so forth, which is kind of annoying, because... Yeah, and then now it's the wrong size, and it, yeah, it just turned into a mess, and so I ended up just saying, why are we bothering, and decided to do this a little bit differently. So, here I am finally putting in the pirate ship, if... Yeah, there we go, pirate ship, and yeah, if I remember right, I lined it up kind of with that back wall there, and yeah, the now the entrance can go on those little sides, but the exit's actually too big to fit on them, which kind of surprised me, but you know, it's no big deal. I put it here in the front rather than off to the side because it made sense, and yeah, so here we go, putting in the exit. I did use a different type of queue here, and apparently I decided I needed to go into something in Windows. I don't know why, but I did, so there's that. You see all. And yeah, we kind of sort of start our mainish path in this area, too. And if I remember right here, yeah, I do something like that, so we can connect that up and connect everything and yeah so now we've got our little ticket booth sort of thing over here and right open now i don't remember do i do anything around the actual entrance thing here i don't think so i think all i do is put the sign on top of it and it takes me forever to remember what the name of this ride is so that was interesting and yeah, I think the sign is fine there, and wish I could. maybe I can go back and put a little bit of a building there, but instead I decided let's you know copy this and we'll put it in a few other spots as well. And then I take this, we turn it, it kind of goes on here and right about there, and then we take the other part of this and also put it in, which will happen soon. Right about there, there we go, and since the eggs can't actually be seen, I end up deleting them here, which works out well for us and does make this site a little bit smaller. I put a sign up here on top of the building now, just so we can, you know, actually tell people from the path over there what ride they're seeing, which kind of works out well for us, and the sign actually fits in pretty well in that spot. You know, and then, yeah, these sort of things kind of attaching everything to the roof kind of looked cool too, and I like that detail. And yeah, so it also kind of finishes that edge a little bit better, I think, than what we have on here, so works well for that, and yep, then we go back, put a little bit of foliage into these corners, you know, rotate that stuff, get some bushes in here, and yeah, kind of just fill this area out, and make it look kind of nice for ourselves, and yeah, one of those guys, because we don't see too many of them, but I think having something like that lowered into the ground, too, looks really nice. And somehow, at this point, the game decided that it needed to remove the fences from the outside of the pirate ship. And I don't know why, but it just did. So that's the thing that happened, and 
I'm not going to bother to fix it. I'm hoping next time I load up the game that it will be fixed on its own and everything will be good, but, you know, not really too sure about that. But here we go, kind of continuing to decorate the side of this hill and fit everything in together, make it kind of a concise area to walk up into, and I think it works pretty well for us, you know, considering all the stuff going on here, and yeah, that area's kind of filled out, it looks pretty good, and yeah, then I kind of take some of these sort of details and layer them in here a little bit better, so got quite a few of these like market things and if I remember right no we never put that in but and yeah I thought about doing this at first too but then I'm like eh, no let's not do that because that looks kind of weird because we we're gonna have a gap here no matter what or then we we'll have stuff over the path which it just didn't make sense so I end up doing a little bit different here and put a few statues and stuff in like that and end up making it look kind of nice over here so I also have this sort of arch thing that is kind of our sort of entrance to the area which looks kind of cool I like it and yeah that sort of pillar in the front too which also ended up being a really good sort of thing for us to have and yeah a little special effect here to give us some fire into the little campsite there which looks kind of cool and I'm happy with so now I think I think squirt some water out of her mouth or something I think that's what it is and then here I am trying to rotate stuff to try to hide it better and yeah see squirting water and then I'm like, okay, okay, so we need something for that water to get squirted into. And then I never really find anything that works. So, yeah, that 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 was brilliant. And then we have this other arch, which I end up not using, if I remember. Yeah, I just removed... I removed both of them. Okay, I well, thought I only removed the one, but I guess I removed both. And now just we're doing a little bit of detail here and putting flags onto all the different towers. And... I think that actually turned out fairly well for this area. You know, we have all the flags kind of in the same direction. I try not to rotate them very much, if at all, and turns out pretty well for us. I think I do copy it the towers one more time and add in one more, though, if I remember right. And here we go into a second clip, which is much sore, shorter. And yes, there we go. I'm copying that tower again into a side over here, kind of anchor the rest of this right in, and yeah, I put a little bit more foliage into here, a little bit around the actual entrance thing, and it looks pretty good, I think. I like these kind of the rose bush and that sort of really, really dark green bush together. I think they look pretty good side by side same with the um one with the white flowers too and yeah end up getting rid of the mermaid because i think it looks kind of weird having that there and kind of just do a little bit of foliage over here instead which ended up looking really good and yeah do a few do the tree over there and i tried putting stuff over there on that side too but it didn't really work out for us so Unfortunately, nothing over there, but I think it looks like it works for us, and everything's kind of layered out pretty well in here, I'd say. It's just we have that little sort of gap over there where I can't really push anything into it because somehow everything didn't work out for us, and a few trees along the path the Q path here which ended up looking pretty good for us and then I th think yeah just sort of rocks along here as well just kind of tie in that this is a little separate sort of thing and that's actually pretty much what I do over in that part I then we get a little bit more work over here done on the slope and yeah I think 
I've pretty much finished that up to, at least up to the um, Sky Ace ride, and just kind of right there in the area in front of it, and it turned out pretty well. Now, I also kind of put some paths here. I don't think I kept them, but actually, no, I do keep them. Um, put the rock there in the middle, and yeah, I think that is going to be about all we do here. I apparently also fixed that path at some point. I didn't remember if that actually got into recording or not, and... But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>